Hello YouTube, I am coming to you today, um, April 28th, Thursday, 7.25pm here on the East Coast, right, <laughs> Eastern Time Zone. Um, I went to Tarjay again today y'all, I'm addicted, let me show you what I got. Defining, this is e.l.f. Defining Eyeliner Brush, how much was it, you wonder? A dollar. I got two of those. Also, what I got is a warm tan, um, healthy glow bronzer powder and warm tan for the dollar. I got a compact um, this is just the thingy, like the palette itself. It doesn't actually have any pods in there. So the um, colors that I got, I have ivory, I have periwinkle. I have moon dust and I have golden glow. I love that. It's so pretty to me. And all of these were a dollar as well. And then I bought an eyelid primer, elf eyelid primer for a dollar. And then I bought a bronzer brush for a dollar. I have one of these like a brush brush. Um, but yeah, so that's I'm sure you got all of this stuff for the dollar each. So that was great. Also, what I bought today was the um, Shea Moisture Organic Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. Now, the, on top of that, and I'm rushing. But what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take all of these down, spray my hair with my mix, um, go get a trim, and then I will let you all know when I get back what I'm going to do when I get back. All right? So y'all be safe. Take it easy do is just show you a lamp check prior to I thought like oh god I should do that so let's check prior to my trim I come about there that's where I'm at like right at the bridge of my nose as far as my ear right in my ear I'm like right below right below my earlobe right below my earlobe as far as my back Oh, these big earrings out the way. As far as my back, you can't really see it. I'm like right there. So, yeah. That's where I'm at. Um, and as I said, I'm just going to spray my hair down. Because I noticed too, like with the, when you go to the, like the barbers, them niggas don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like they do not be gentle with your hair. Ugh. I don't want to do this because I might pull out some hair. I don't want to show y'all that. But anyway, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. Fresh, um, Freshly back from the barber. And I was rushing. And his ass don't close to like nine. But whatever. So I'm going to do a length check. I'm sorry to be smacking on this gun. But it's good. He gave it to me. It's good. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> but um, as a length check... Prior to me going to the um to the barber, I was about like right here. Coming back from the barber, I'm about like right there. <laughs> so he did good. He didn't cut me. I was like, as I was sitting there with the hair falling out, I was like, you know you just give me a trim, right? <laughs> he was like, yeah. So on my sides, they come still about the same. My back still comes about the same. So he he did really good in just trimming me up or whatever. Just trimming me a little bit. Cause I mean I still have length, you know? I still have length. And that's what I that's what I needed. Just a good trim though, just to make it even all over, especially my twist out, because those raggedy ends, honey, were something serious. And I got a lot of hair. So what I'm gonna do, I wanted to deep condition. wash my hair with the shampoo I'm probably gonna oil my scalp wash me. I'm gonna oil my scalp I'm excited to see what this Shea Moisture shampoo will do because the conditioner is so good but I understand that it is a shampoo but 
as far as shampoos go, I haven't used a sh last shampoo. I only shampoo I use for the most part is uh my Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap, 18 and 1. And I love that. But that to me is still, that is a clean clean. That is, I mean, I don't want to say it strips clean. Quite, like it doesn't have any sulfates or cones or anything. But that is a, a serious shampoo. Now like if I lean my head forward, you'll start seeing the oil run down. But yeah. So I'm just going to massage that into my scalp. Massage, 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 massage. And as I'm in the shower, I'm going to continue to do this. I'm just trying to make it quick so that way I don't have to make a really long, boring video. Ooh -ooh. And also what I'm going to do is put a little bit more in my hand and get my edges. But like my hair is so soft right now. And that's because as I was trying to detangle with those twists, and I'm going to be honest with y'all, I said I was going to keep that hair. I This is the most I've ever pulled out of my head. This is the amount of hair I pulled out from detangling. With I still had some twist in there. And that is sad. And I debated whether I wanted to show y'all this or not. But that is just so much hair. All my little coils. But that's because, like I said, I still had some twist in there. And I, like I said, I initially I was going to use my pick. That didn't go down like that. <laughs> I had to use my wide tooth comb and then I went over it with my pick. But um yeah. That was a mess and I had a headache from that and I was just like, wow, I gave myself a headache from trying to detangle that fast and not even taking out all my twists and this man is still here. And he talked my ear off, y'all. I love barbers. I think barbers are so sexy. It's something about like a man just being around men all day and then I know he's coming home to me around like being all around all that testosterone. I just feel like he'll be more appreciative of me. I've dated a barber, that's why. <laughs> and then it's the fact he can do my eyebrows, he can cut my hair, he can, you know, give me a little design down there, you know. Give me a little design and everything. But yeah. So I'm going to continue massaging this into my head and also getting my sides high. And next time I promise I won't have this gum in my mouth smacking like that, alright? Bye. Hey y'all, I just wanted to let you know what I did. Um, As I said I would, as promised. <laughs> okay, if I can turn it right. I washed my hair with this um, Moisture Retention Shampoo by Shea Moisture. Um, I read on some of the reviews that like it some ladies that stripped your hair or whatever and to me personally it didn't strip my hair at all like it like my um dr bronner's um peppermint cow still soap strips my hair more than that does this made me feel clean and like no residue type feeling for my particular hair now like i said i have like i'm gonna say 4b 4c or maybe 4a 4b i don't know but i think i'm kind of over the type and types it you know but, um, yeah, that did good for my hair. Um, after that, I put on my um, Shea Treatment Mask my, as a deep conditioner. Excuse me. Um, and I also read on one of the reviews that a lady was like, that you should, it's better to use on sopping wet hair. And that is true because the first time I used it, which was last week, um, prior to my twist out, I just felt like, oh, God, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, it didn't get it all through my hair evenly so I added a little bit of my moisture retention conditioner um this time I didn't do that I didn't have to do that and I used a good bit like I'm really heavy handed on product and that's how much I have left from like two I used it twice but that's a good amount if it was all the way up here that's a good amount I used like good dollops of that um so I'm going to deep, deep condition with that for as long as I can. Probably like an hour, hour or two at the most. Um, yeah, I'm going to deep condition with this. Sip on my Moscato. Relax. And I'll come back and let y'all know what I'm doing. Alright? Mm. Okay, y'all. I just washed out the deep treatment mask. Um, my hair is feeling really soft right now. I put in my restorative conditioner right now. What I don't like about this is the pump actually fucking sucks. Like the pump, it'll pump one time and then after this just will wrap. So I had to take it off and just, you know, take that bad boy off and get it in like that. Um, after that, I applied my um, organic coconut and hibiscus curl and style milk. 
And I love this for the smell. And it's 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 light. It doesn't leave my hair feeling like residue. Yeah, I said residue. So, um, so right now I'm just being lazy. But I mean, it is two o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to wake up at eight, so I'm just gonna twist up my hair with some chunky twists or whatever, and we'll see how that comes out in the morning. All right, goodbye.